Hello, my friends. Well, I'm going to be doing something a little different today. I'm going to be doing a painting on a non-poured background. <laughs> a Facebook friend asked me to tackle the mimosa blossom. It has a very special meaning to her, and I was not familiar with it. Um, I was familiar with the drink, the mimosa, but not the blossom, until I saw pictures of it and then realized, oh yes, I have seen it before, but I didn't know the name of it. So I printed out some pictures so I could have a good idea of what they're all about and what the foliage around them is like. It's very fern-like, and flowers themselves are very wispy. It's actually a tree, um, also called the silk tree, and you can see why, because as they um, die, they become very stringy and silky-like. Anyway, um, I've got these really interesting seed pods, and I, I guess these things open up to become the flowers, I assume. So, a lot going on there. So what I did was um, take uh, three shades of green and did a dark background. Dark and then I got progressively lighter. And then that was too boring so then I just chopped in some other colors of green in just a slip slap motion, very choppy, just to add a little bit of interest and maybe texture to the painting. And I hope you can see it okay. I have to have it at an angle like this because um, there was quite a glare on it if I was had it flat on the surface here. So I'm just using three, color, <clears throat> three colors, cobalt blue. I happen to be using golden, but any brand will do. Primary magenta, cad yellow, light, and white. Now the white is just Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, so... Uh, Nothing special about that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a liner brush. Let's see. I've got the skinny liner brush. It's a number three zero 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 three aught, and I'm going to do some stem lines. As you can see. There's a lot going on in the way of stems. I'm not trying to duplicate my reference photo, but I am going to refer to it to uh, come up with it. So I'm kind of like getting a watery mix and I'm just gonna begin throwing in stems. Now, I'm going to have, I think I'll do th probably at least three of these flowers. So i got to kind of think of placement of them. I, got, yeah, I really like the way it would look here in the dark area. So I'll have one here or here, maybe. So I need a stem going over there. We'll call that the stem for that flower and maybe I'll have one going up here and maybe one down here that could be the stem anyway it doesn't I'm just kind of thinking ahead where things are going to go but at this point I'm just getting movement in there with these suggestions of, of stems. I'll come back and refine them a bit later on. Varying the color and thickness and length. Okay, now I think I'm going to go ahead and kind of block in where I'm going to have these um, flowers, blossoms, I guess. I'm going to have one 
I'm using my flat brush. This is a half inch, probably about a size 12. I'm just going to kind of flick up the uh, in the general shape. Of the blossom. One there. A little bit smaller one here. And I should do a third. Um, maybe I'll do, these are kind of profile. Maybe I'll try one facing us. In this section here. Okay. And I may add more, but we'll start with that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, well, no, really like the third thing. <laughs> I'm going to start with the uh, ferny kind of leaves. So I'm going to again take this um, flat brush and the the leaves are very, let me show you again. Well, this one is, this is blurry, but it's a good picture of, of how they are. They're kind of very fern-like, as I said, and almost perpendicular to the stem line. They slightly curve as they get towards the end. So... That's what I'm going for. I'm going to have one darker side and one lighter side. Slightly. Using the chisel edge. Uh, I think I'll have one coming down this way. Going right over the flower. I'm not worried about it. load up the brush and now I'm slightly curving a little darker on the other side it's not much darker I don't want a big difference Oops, I, I said they go straight out, and here I am. This is a very unusual uh, leaf. Okay. Keep going. As the um, foliage gets smaller, you can almost just dab it on, as you saw me do, rather than drag it like I did here. Again, this is just representation. I'm not doing any kind of photorealism. I don't think I could. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you get the idea. I would keep going. Um, ah, well, I'll do one more over here. Kind of quite dark. Can you see my palette? I hope. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm not putting a lot of detail into it at all. Just and and now you see how that background stuff I did really um, you don't see it so much. It doesn't matter how neat or sloppy it is. <laughs> Well, I could keep going, but you certainly get the idea. Okay, let's um, do one more. <laughs> Stop, stop. Okay. I may not be done, but I will stop now, I promise. Okay, let's get to these flowers. All right. Um, taking the same flat brush, I'm going to go get all that green out of there as best I can. I'm going to go back into the white and I'm going to put more solid white at the base there and again flick it up. This time moving on to the chisel edge. This is the chisel edge of the brush to kind of get a suggestion of the, I don't know, what do you call those things? Not petals. What? I don't know what they are. These things. <laughs> they kind of, they, they're pretty straight, but they kind of curve a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. Different, vary the heights, the lengths rather. And every once in a while, there's a rogue one that curves. Whoa. Oh, that's not good. That's got to go away. Cleaned out my brush. I can either make it skinny. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. And my hand is in the wet paint down here. That's not good. All right. <laughs> that was a little crazy. Let's see if I can avoid that. I'm going to go over here and I'm going from flower to flower with each stage. So kind of flicking up, making it more solid at the bottom and then chisel edge. You could use a liner brush, but I like, um, I love a, a good flat brush. This one is a little trickier. I didn't 
I only saw maybe one, I don't have a picture, one where it was facing you. And depending on the stage of the flower, it can be just one big puff ball or kind of open. And I'm going to do open. Now let's see, I'll do a little more of this. And then these things. Okay, now let's see. We want to go to the next uh, part, which is pink. So I'm going to take my dirty brush. It had white in it. I have a little more white. Go into the magenta. Mix some pink. And come in here, not all the way, not from the bottom, but um, kind of in the middle section. Just kind of flick up some color. See if I can do a better one. There we go. A little wispy. Okay. Same thing here. Whoops, that was a little heavy-handed in that. Okay, now the, the tips are brighter, a deeper kind of fuchsia color. So now the Don't like that one. Let me uh, try to fix that one. Yeah, I'm not going to worry. That's not critical. Okay. doesn't matter what size um, flat brush you use. You could use a, a narrow one because you're using the chisel edge. But the, uh, the bigger it is, the more paint it will hold. So you won't have to load up as frequently. Okay, I'm going to go back and add some more white. It's a straight white. Always pulling from the, uh, what would be the calyx, I guess? 
Did I say that already? I like these so far, but this one, not so sure. I should have found some reference photos of this. I saw one, and I didn't print it out, and I'm trying to go by memory. But I like the variation of the orientation of it. Maybe some shorter, not all the same length though, but shorter ones to kind of indicate you're looking more directly on it. All right, it's not bad. Okay, now. just feeling it needs more uh, heavier concentration of white towards the center of it. I'm going back to the medium, adding some more. Oh, that's pretty. I like that little real strike of light pink there. Add a little more here and there on these other flowers. Not all over. I don't want it. I want variation. Okay. Now, this is fun. Um, now to add a little color to it, the tips of these flowers, blossoms, have little yellow, probably pollen, I, I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna take my liner brush and I'm gonna go into the, straight into the yellow. And I'm going to just dab on some little suggestions of those little dots. Not worried about every one or even where it goes. I mean, that would be impossible. Goodness, my stomach is growling. And this one would have it 
all over. You know what? I I may well let me I'm gonna continue, but um because I want to put those seed pods in for you. But then I think I'll turn the camera off and continue because because this is not fast. Um, I don't want to rush it, and um, it's gonna take some time. It's not difficult, but it takes some time to uh, get what you want. All right, now I have this other little little tiny round brush. It's a three-aught round, very small. And I'm going to do some of those seed pod things. So I'm going to start with some darkish green. And I'm just going to um, dab in. But before I do that, I need to kind of uh, attach a little calyx to each of these. This one's going to be right in, it's going to be in the center. You're going to see bits of it. And a little, little lighter green. And a little white. Okay, back to the seed pods. I'm just gonna dab in some patchy little circular areas. This is what I'm doing now, these kind of things. There's a lot of them. So starting with the dark, Randomly dotting them in. I would, I'm going to be adding a lot more, but I'll start with those five. And now a little bit lighter. I'm kind of, this time I'm kind of doing a little round, little round shapes. Kind of half moon. Half circle. In the folk art painting world, we would call those C strokes. Like this kind of C. C? <laughs> okay. Anyway, you get the idea. And then uh, lighten them up even more with very, very light green. Not everywhere, just hit and miss, kind of. Okay. Um, all right. I, I think that's as far as I'm going to go right now on film. Let me pause. I'm going to continue and then I'll come back and, and explain what I did.
Okay, well, I'm done. I may be fiddle with it a little bit more, but for the most part, it's complete, I believe. I took my liner brush and worked some more on the blossoms, adding all three colors and some more definitive strokes with the skinny brush. I added some more ferns, more of these seed pods scattered throughout the composition. And I added more detail to these with some brighter yellow, green, and even a touch of the magenta in there. So hopefully this becomes a focal point. I don't think I'm bothered by the negative space here in contrast with the busyness here. I think it kind of balances out. And I started, and I, that's what I'll continue to do, is add a little bit of the leaf the foliage onto the sides of the canvas, and then I'll be done. So I don't know how many of you will actually see this because I can't share it on any of the pouring groups, but I do appreciate those of you that did see it, did watch it, and feel free to share it. And Sylvia, if you're watching this, I would like to send this to you, so PM me your address and it'll be on its way. Thanks for joining me, folks. I'll see you next time.